Hey everybody, I'm here today with a KitchenAid stand mixer. I'll be showing you how to remove the attachments from this unit in this easy tutorial. Let's get right into the video. First of all, this is the unit that lowers the mixing bowl. Alternatively, there's a unit that tilts the head up. So keep that in mind, but the process is gonna be very, very similar. Firstly, you want to separate the head of the unit from the bowl. So in this case, I'm gonna lower the mixing bowl, just like that, okay? It lowered it down, or you would flip a lever and tilt the head up to raise the head. You wanna separate the unit from the mixing bowl. Then you want to remove the attachment. Now, um, I call these attachments and these accessories, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna show you both of them because you might refer to them vice versa. So I'll just show you both. To remove this right here, which is the beater head, this is like a paddle right here. Um, essentially, there's a notch you wanna push up against the spring, twist it to the left, and release it down. Then you can remove it just like that. Obviously make sure that your unit is unplugged as well. Keep that in mind. And to remove the accessory that goes over here or the attachment you might call it. If you look inside, I'm gonna try and bring the camera really close. It's hard to tell, but there's actually a square hole in there. Um, so what you would do is you would pull out the attachment from being used that you're using right there. And there are many things that you can do. Um, it's, it's crazy how many different options they have, but you wanna pull that out um, to remove that. And then you want to put this back in place. This is your placeholder. You need this in there, you really do. So put that back in place right there. Um, as you can see, there's notches that make sure that it goes in the right orientation. And then you have a set screw right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna twist this set screw in place, just like that and we should be good to go. I'm just trying to do with my left hand right here. There we go. So you twist your set screw in place. And what I always like to do is just make sure it's not gonna come out. So I'll just give this a little pull to make sure it's not gonna come out. That's it. It's literally that simple. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.